Hi everybody, my name is Aaron, and today we're going to place that with this. The uh, shiny coating just fell off of it one day. So we got another one off of Amazon, I can provide a link. Um, apparently changing these are actually pretty easy. It's freaking cold, I live in Canada, it's January something or December something right now. Um, if you have an electronic controlled one, electrically controlled, you can kind of bring this corner out a little bit. Uh, this one is broken, the electronics on it, so we just gotta grab at it from the side here. Apparently it all just kinda pops out. Wow, that looks freaking old. Wires in the back. That don't wanna come off. They probably need a pair of pliers. Pretty much the same on all of the Jettas. Okay, there they are. And there's the old one gone. You can see the little element in the back here. That's where all the heat comes from. And there's this little tab. If your new one doesn't have the little tab, you'll need it. Mine did come with one. You have to slide the tab into the slot. Came in the package with the tab, not in the slot. So if your heated mirrors work, um, plug them in the same way that you found them. Um, realistically, because this is just a heating element, it really doesn't matter what goes in which slot. But to be safe, you can put it in the way that you found it. My, I don't even think my heaters work, so I'm just doing this to prevent a short if uh, these accidentally touched and there's some power going through them at some point. So it's pretty tight. Next is uh, popping it back on. And all I have to do on this one is make sure that that little tab lines up with the slot back in here. And then you just put the mirror back on like that. The camera is where I need to be in order to get this pushed in right. But last thing you want to do is wreck your motor. That's not coming off. That's a fixed mirror. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more, hit up the channel. See you next time. In the reflection? No? Ciao.